This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Dave Lindstedt back with me. You are from Lanark Animal Welfare Society. You're the president of the board. Welcome back to FYI. And as well, Chris Must, you are a member of the Surf Riders. You've been here before too, wearing many different uniforms. Last time you were here, you were dressed as a beetle. Now we're, we're doing a, a Hawaiian tropical type theme and it's for the event that you guys are putting on together. So uh, Dave, let's start with you. You are the member of uh, the president. You're the president of the Lanark Animal Welfare Society. How long have you been with the well, I've been there for eight years and president for, on the board for eight years and president for two or three. Okay, and, and I know uh, the last few years with COVID, it's, it's been a struggle trying to uh, do events and, and uh, get donations. You, you rely on that out at the, the animal shelter. Yes, but really the support we've gotten has been great, like from the community. Like uh, we haven't been able to do any fundraising events really. We're just starting to get back into them now, but uh, the, the, we're st we've still gotten lots of community support. We're doing. Right, right, yeah. right. And how does it look right now? Lots of cats, lots of dogs out there? Yeah, right now. Well, that, our numbers are down a little bit, but it's just about kitten season, so they'll be shooting back up shortly. Oh, and right. uh, one of the big problems now is the vet uh, uh, fees have really increased, our, our vet costs and uh, food costs. And everything has gone up with inflation, but... Uh, that's right. That's right. I mean, you're just not a shelter. You're not just a roof over their head until they find a home. You do. You need veterinarians. You need uh, the, the right. care that they need They need, and food. Right. And plus, we, we don't adopt them out until they're spayed or, or neutered. That's right. And that's they've right. been vet checked. They can up to date on all their vaccines. That's right. That's right. So a lot of this uh, depends on donations and events like this that you two have put on. Right. Now, Chris, you are with uh, the Surf Riders. You're also with a few other bands as well, too. Uh, well, yes, I also have a, an acoustic duo, and we do a lot of shows at retirement homes. And in fact, um, I was doing a, a so after I learned my repertoire of surf tunes as a way to uh, fill the time during the pandemic when we couldn't get a lot of bookings at nursing homes or anywhere else, um, I was doing the solo show at Van Horn Manor one day, and uh, they also happened to have, it was an outdoor show because uh, they had the cars, the classic cars, which Dave is also involved with there that day as something for the residents, uh, an activity for the residents and a barbecue. And I was playing some surf tunes on my own. And uh, Dave said, uh, would I be willing to do that for the animal shelter Christmas party? I said, well, I'd be happy to donate my time to do that for a good cause like that. And uh, I would bring my friend George, the bass player from the band. And between us and Tony Phantom, our Phantom drummer, we can recreate the sound of all the tunes. and from the uh, early days, the, the uh, what I call the uh, classic era of instrumental rock, the, the, the ventures, the safaris, and so on. So we did that for the uh, Christmas party at the Legion, and uh, while we were there, we said, why don't we come back sometime in a couple of months, and we'll do a benefit show for the shelter, and uh, see how much we can we can raise for the care of homeless animals, and so that's what we're doing on the 25th of March. 25th of March, and it's back at the Legion as well? At yeah. the Legion, which uh, is being generously donated for the cause, and uh, there, there are absolutely no expenses associated with this. All the proceeds of the ticket sales will be going to the shelter Excellent. exclusively. Excellent. So you're going to be asking people to wear their tropical shirts? <laughs> right. It's, it's a Hawaiian uh, beach party theme and the surf music uh, for the dance, and we will be giving out the Hawaiian lays at the door, and we've got some door prizes, and there'll also be a prize for the best Hawaiian shirt. And the best sure. Hawaiian shirt. Not sure how we're going to decide that, but there will be a prize for that. Awesome. I mean, this is March 25th. People are, you know, ready for some warmer weather. Uh, it may not be warmer out, but you can feel the warmth at yes. the Legion. Well, you can pretend you're uh, in Hawaii going surfing. And, uh, and listen to some great music and dance. Pretend it's 1963 at the same time. Ah, okay. Can you talk <laughs> about a little bit about the, the music? You, you mentioned a couple of... Uh... Right. Well, it's it's what we call surf music. Now, this, this guitar is the one that I use. This is a, a Fender Squire Jaguar, which, as you can see, has a tremolo arm. And uh, this, this is a perfect guitar for doing surf music because the tone and the, uh, the whammy bar and the way you can set up the sound really is a faithful recreation of that era. And uh, so... Basically, a short history of how this come, came about. There was a band called The Ventures that was formed on the west coast of the U.S. in the late 50s. And uh, they played just instrumental music. Their big hit was Walk, Don't Run. Everybody knows Walk, Don't Run. Even, even if you don't recognize the name, if I played it, you would know it. Mm -hmm. So they, they inspired probably a thousand other instrumental bands, all teenagers playing at high school dances and so on. And uh, 
Some of them went on to have music careers and have hits for a short period of time. From about 1960 to 63, it was, it was a real uh, craze. And there were hundreds and hundreds of bands. There were the Surfaris who did Wipeout. There were uh, the band, bands from even bands from the Midwest who were nowhere near the water who played surf music, like the Astronauts and the Trashman. The Trashman had a song called uh, Surf and Bird. But they also had some great instrumentals as well. And, and if you dig back through the archives on YouTube, you can find some just incredible tunes that, uh, if you're my age, you probably don't remember them because I was still very young then. But uh, they're just great, and it's really fun to play them. Unfortunately, I remember them. <laughs> Fortunately. I, well, I, I lived through it. It was great. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be a benefit dance for the Lanark Animal Welfare Society, too. Right. Uh, are you, you need volunteers. We, we talked about, you know, depending on, on donations and everything like that. You depend on your volunteers oh, as well. Oh, definitely. That's, uh, you know, they're most one of the most important parts of the shelter. Like we couldn't function without them. It'd just be. That's no. right. And your <clears> wife is a volunteer there? Yes, she looks after the cats, plays with the cats, and uh, looks after them on Friday afternoons. Awesome, awesome. Now, is that to keep the cats there, or just how many you have at home? <laughs> well, we have, we have one cat at home right now, but we've adopted uh, a number of cats from the shelter during the time that we've lived here in town for over the last 35 years or so. Right, we've right. We've always had cats. We love animals. In fact, our, our oldest daughter is actually a veterinarian, and she has at home, where she lives in London, she has a dog and two cats. All of them rescued. Oh, really? I, I remember volunteering when my daughter was young. She loved cats, but she was allergic to them. So one day a week, we would go out after she's had her allergy medication, and she would go out and just brush some of the cats just to be able to be around the animals and everything like that, yeah. too. So I know how important volunteers are out right. there, because it is 24-7 <clears throat> every day. You have to be right. out there to right. be able to take care of those animals. Right. And another thing that's really important is our fosters. They've, uh, mm -hmm. they've really stepped up, because when we run out of room in the shelter, they, you know, they can take the cats, so we can still keep bringing them in, and uh, <clears throat> and also the dogs. We found that the dogs didn't really do well in the shelter, and we get some surrenders that people just can't keep them anymore, and uh, or there's strays that have been brought in, and they go right into foster too. So it's uh, like our foster program is really important. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. it would it would give an animal a home instead right. of a. Right. A shelter, a, a cage area. Right. Yeah. Instead, yeah. They're so, much, yeah. much more socialized. Than that's that. right. That's right. And yeah. that too. Right. Be much more socialized for right. sure. For sure. So, for more information about our, our animal shelter, where are you, and how do they get a hold of you? Uh, Lanarkanimals.ca is our website, and uh, to get a hold of us, our email is shelter at lanarkanimals.ca. So, if you're interested in volunteering, volunteering. If you're interested in getting an animal. Right. Yeah. Like the. Uh, the website has them all listed, all the ones that are available. The vets are still really busy, so it's hard getting them and uh, to be altered. Yes. And yes. Uh, well, as soon as they're well, not as soon, but like five to seven days after they've been altered, they're available. They're ready for, to go. Right. They're ready to go. All right. So maybe Chris, you can say the date and times of the dance again. Well, I, th I thought I might be asked that question, so I made sure <laughs> I had it memorized. Yes, it's uh, Saturday, the twenty-fifth of March at uh, Legion Branch 95 on uh, at 7 Main Street at Smith Falls and uh, the, the, it uh, runs from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $20 in advance or at the door and all the proceeds are going to laws. All right, so get your tropical shirt out. You'll probably see a couple pairs of shorts and maybe some flip-flops. <laughs> well, yes. We're ready well, for that time of year, yes. We, we are. do hope the weather cooperates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After the last big snow, yeah. Yes, for sure, for sure. And this is only a couple of weeks away, so yeah. uh, you can get tickets at the door or in advance as well. Right. You're saying that uh, they have some tickets at Bon Appetit? Right. And that's just right up from the Legion. To that's the right, just a couple, so. of, yeah, the couple doors away. Yeah. And people who have me on Facebook can message me, and I'll be happy to deliver them to you in person. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Thank you very much for joining us. Right. <clears throat> and everything you do for our animal shelter. Uh, I have Dave Lindstedt, the president of the board of Lanark. Animal Welfare Society, and Chris Musk, a member of the Surf Riders. Thank you for joining us today.